these are the parts that you get in the kit, and these are the parts that you need to find yourself. Um, so to start, we're going to put the heat set inserts into the case. Turn your soldering iron on to 200 to 250. Um, now these have a smaller end. These have that um, smaller end right there that goes in first. So we're going to rest that end um, just inside the hole here. Resting like that, we then take the soldering iron, um, press it into the middle of that, and just wait a minute and it'll start going in with just some light pressure. Then you go until it's just a little bit below the surface, like that. Do that for the rest of them. Okay, now we can st install the fan. Um, I like to take the um, cable and tie a very loose knot in it just to take up a little bit of slack and get, make it easier to fit all the cable in there. Let me close it up. Um, put the fan so that um, this label side is facing up, which means it's blowing into the case. Um, take four of the 12 millimeter screws and screw it into the holes. But we want to make sure we don't go too far. So as soon as they kind of bottom out and get a little bit harder, we're going to stop. Now take the main board and we're going to install the standoffs for the pie. So we're going to put them in the four inner holes here. I like to get it like that, balancing on the screwdriver. Um, put the standoff on and just tighten it down. Get these pretty good and tight. Alright, once that's done, we're going to take the soldering iron and heat that back up to good soldering temp. Now for the receivers, I like to solder just the, um, the corner pad here, this bottom left one, on each of the pad. Just tin that with a bit of solder. Then we take a receiver and we just reheat that pad while we're getting it lined up with everything else. You want to make sure that this top pad is lined up with that um, third, third one on the receiver and then make sure these other ones line up also. I'm going to do that for all of them. Okay, now we can go through and um, solder the rest of the pads. Some of them are ground pads, which means they are going to take a bit more heat to melt the solder. But you want to make sure that they're contacting the, um, the main board and the receiver. And remember to get these top ones. If you want to do four, that will be enough. And then if you want to do eight, you can do the bottom two. Okay, now you have all your receivers installed, and we can start with the Pi. Um, make sure you flash your SD card with a Raspberry Pi image, or the image that you can download from me. Um, put that in the Pi. Mount it on the board by lining up the pins. And then press down firmly on both sides. Now we need to put in the other standoff screws.
Now take the fan connector and plug it into this connector here. And then the board is going to go like this so that the Pi connectors come out that side there. So we need to tuck the fan connector in so that it's not getting in the blades of the fan and also not coming out the um, side for the connectors there. And then we just line it up with the four um, threaded inserts there. And now we can put the lid on. With everything lined up, the screws should go down through the hole into the standoff or into the insert. And just tighten it down till it's decently tight. And now your timer's complete. Go ahead and plug it in to make sure it works. The fan should spin up without any excess noise. And now if you don't have the software installed yet, the power button won't do anything. Oh yeah, one last thing I forgot. Is there's a little um, tab here to hold the power button while it's printing. Just go ahead with a knife and kind of cut that off. Once you do that, the button should be nice and clicky. And there you have it.